my fellow toy gun enthusiasts. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about AOE, or Angle of Engagement, and why it is super duper important. <coughs> oh, um, don't worry, I don't have Corona, I am just a very heavy smoker. Um, okay, so Angle of Engagement can sort of refer to a couple of things, but what it mainly refers to is... Um, the angle that your sector gear and piston pickup tooth meet. If you can see that, that's a bit better. Um, okay, so this is one of those things where you sort of have a little bit of a grey area wiggle room um, to work with, but if you're out of that grey that gray area, if you're out of that, that wiggle room zone, uh, things go catastrophically wrong um, and don't work well at all. Okay, um, so how do you get it? What is it? Why is it important? And what, what does it taste like? What does it look like? Uh, it looks like this. So by s just some sort of miracle, this um, piston head and piston combo, these are the new SHS nylon pistons. They're really, really tough, I gotta say. Um, this combo just had perfect AOE with these 13 to 1 um, Kublai gears. Woo! Come back gearbox. Uh, so it should... Get in there, boy. Meet perfectly like that. Nice and seamless. Um, so for that angle, you sort of have... I don't know, anywhere from just before 12 o'clock to just after 12 o'clock, um, depending on your um, piston rack and sector gear combo, whatever you're using. Um, there's a couple ways you can... Let's zoom out here. You, you've seen that now. Oh, no. I don't know what that was. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. There we go. Um, where was I? Yep, so there's a couple ways you can... Ah! Sorry, my camera thing is horrible. Um, you can get AOE, so depending on your combo, it's because this piston head is really wide, so it pushes the arm piston back a little bit more, which is... Um, one of the ways you can uh, do that. So you can use a spacer on your cylinder head. Um, I just use this um, three mil thick rubber sheeting I get from Bunnings. Um, but you want to epoxy it and let it sit for a couple of hours before you do that. That's really annoying because I'm very impatient. Um, so you can do that. You can space out the cylinder head or you can put one of these bearing platters under your piston head when you screw them on and space out the piston head instead. So there's multiple ways to achieve that. So in a um, high rate of fire build, you kind of don't want to use these. I don't know how much they weigh, but they're a lot heavier than um, using, say, like a little 3D printed one. Um, and in a high rate of fire where you want to keep your weight down in your piston, that's sort of a little bit annoying. Um, in a normal 13 to 1 build, I guess that's sort of alright. If, if you're going um, DSG and stuff like that, no, you don't want to be doing that. Um, I don't have any 3D printed one, 3D printed shims to show you, but pretty pretty simple. Same idea. Lighter. Um, there you go. I think I've explained um, why you need it, why it's important. So I, um, I, every one of you has been on field and you've heard that just absolutely awesome sounding blaster. Um, this is one of those things that contributes to that just perfect, beautiful, crisp sound, or lack of sound, lack of gearbox noise. Um, so what happens is, if you're, um, if it's off, um, if it does work, what will happen is you'll get some sort of you'll eventually get wear in between wherever it's striking. So those will wear down and get all 
get all gross and yuck and you'll get crap through your gearbox. You'll see that when you open it up. Um, so if it does work, most of the time it'll do some sort of weird hump as it does its cycle. Um, and I think that really, really, really contributes to the um, overall noise of the gearbox. So I've sort of found like, um, I do AOE and everything, but I, I really think it's one of those things that contributes to a um, really, really nice sounding build. But it definitely, definitely helps with the uh, longevity of your device. So even with AOE off, it'll, it'll still work. Um, but you'll get shit all through the gearbox and eventually that's going to lead to catastrophic failure. Alright, so that's AOE, why you need it, why it's good, just do it. Alright, peace.